Hey everyone and welcome to our first breakdown video. So what are these videos going to be about, I hear you say? Well every week we're going to break down the most popular piece of swim equipment and give you a more in-depth view on the different styles and designs so you can use this information to pick out the right product for your swimming needs. Anyway, let's jump in and talk about training fins. Now what I mean by traditional fins is that they're seen as an industry standard and a perfect starting point if you're new to wearing fins. Now most or if not all traditional fins are made from silicon and have a generic shape or style no matter the brand. They're great at increasing your speed and to build up muscle and increase flexibility when in the water. Like I said a few moments ago they have a generic shape but each brand does add their own little stamp to it. Just take a look at the Maru training fin, they have a great two-tone colour. Uh, or take a look at the Finnish Zoom, which is a classic design and of course is in the Finnish yellow. Or if you want to go all out, then look at the Lion Power from Arena. It's a must. Edge fins. These types of fins are great if you want to really build up your speed in the water. The venting on the side makes the fin more hydrodynamic and with the increased surface area you can really kick through the water. This style of fin really works well with your natural kick cycle and works with you rather than against you and gives you that instant kick propulsion, which is always nice. With the open heel and toe design, it helps increase your motion in the water as well. The Finnish Edge is one of the best on the market as of this recording. So if you're looking to up your game and improve your kick, then head over to our website to get all the details on the fin. Just like the Edge Fin, asymmetrical fins are designed to work with your natural kick in the water. But due to the unbalanced design, the legs are working that little bit harder to make you more streamlined in the water. It's because of the design they help you improve your body position in the water, just like traditional fins as well, in improving your leg strength and flexibility. This style of fin is perfect for a swimmer who's looking to improve their racing technique. If what I've just said sparks something in the back of your head, then check out the Alpha Pro fins from Michael Phelps. They are also 70% lighter than traditional fins as well, which is nice. Now these types of fins are just as classic as traditional fins. The single blade design helps the swimmer develop and improve their dolphin kick and not to mention really work out your core. The blade helps increase your speed underwater and of course your overall depth. Mono fins are also designed to increase your lower black flexibility. The channels on the type of fin forces the fin to flex at the optimal wave motion which helps active around about 60% of your overall muscle mass. If you're in the market for a mono fin, then look at the Rapid and the Foil mono fin from Finnis, they're a must. And then you also have children's versions which are called swim fins. They come in cool mermaid designs. These types of fins are great to improve your kicks and strokes in the water. Take for instance the Finnis Positive Drive Fin. It's designed to improve your leg strength, body position and build up your speed due to the way it's been designed. And it doesn't matter what sort of stroke you're doing. Or you can take a look at the Speedo Biofuse Fitness Fin. The open hill design meant that this short fin works with your natural kick and helps improve your overall swim technique, no matter what level of swimmer you are. And of course, this comes from a short fin, which is always good. So you can get a small style fin in your pack and it won't impact your stroke or overall fitness, making them a great travel fin, as the name suggests. If you're looking just to get into shape as well, then these fitness fins are a perfect choice. And that's it for this video. Did you think it was helpful? Let me know in the comment below. And if you want to know more about a certain piece of swim equipment, again, comment below and I'll do my utmost to make a breakdown video about it. If you haven't already, don't forget to share and of course subscribe to Simply Swim channel and thanks for watching.